Hello! Welcome to this video tutorial on how to come up with the best search terms for your research. I'll also be covering a few tricks you can use in the database to make your searches more efficient. Before we get started, let's talk a bit about how doing a search in Google or in any search engine is a little different from searching in a library database. Search engines like Google are very flexible with what search terms you use. This is because they have patented algorithms and natural language processing which identifies the most important words in your search for you. When you're searching in a library database, you need to identify and isolate the most important words you need for your search, because they are not quite as good at the natural language processing. You might be wondering, well then, why do we bother using library databases at all? The main reason is because they carry a lot of content that is not available for free on the open web. The library pays a lot of money every year to make sure you have access to the high quality content available from these databases. Also, these databases have very strong searching abilities, but unfortunately, they just aren't quite as user friendly for beginners. No worries though, that's what this tutorial is for. For starters, I do not recommend typing an entire sentence or question into EBSCOhost. You'll get some relevant results this way, but a lot of your results won't be. Google will give you better results if you type an entire sentence or question into the search box. However, I still don't recommend doing it because you are still likely to get better results with carefully chosen search terms. So how do we come up with these special search terms? It's easy. Just follow these three simple steps. One, write out your topic as a question. Two, underline the keywords or concepts in that question. Three, look at those keywords or concepts and try to think of synonyms or related words. The reason we do this is because not all authors are going to use the same word to describe the same thing. I might be looking for an article on cats, but miss one that used the word feline instead. If you aren't too familiar with your topic, it might be hard to think of other words, and that's okay. Start doing some searches with the words you do know, and you'll see words in your results that will give you ideas for other terms to try. If you're new to this, I have a few suggestions for you. Start simple. Use two or three words at the most, and then evaluate how relevant your results were. You can always add more words and then see how your results changed. Do more than one search. You'll start to notice that certain combinations of words get you better results. Let's practice the method we've just learned. My topic question is, should juveniles receive the death penalty? What would be the key words or concepts in that question? If you said juveniles and death penalty, then you're correct. Okay, but now we need to think of other words, synonyms or related terms to describe those concepts. How else would you talk about juveniles? How else would you talk about the death penalty? For juveniles, we could use youth or minors. For death penalty, we could use capital punishment. Did you think of other words besides just those? You could try those as search terms too. Okay, now we're going to use those words in combination with some very important words called Boolean operators that are used in all databases. Those important words are OR and NOT. These words can be put in between your search terms to expand or limit your results, depending on your situation. Let's continue to use our juveniles and death penalty example with OR, starting with our first concept, juveniles. We can use OR in between our synonyms to get us articles that say juveniles, youth, or minors or maybe two of those terms, or even all three. We're going to do the same thing with our second concept, death penalty. We can use OR to make sure we get articles that say death penalty, or articles that say capital punishment, or both. But we don't want articles that are only about juveniles. And we don't just want articles about the death penalty. We want articles about juveniles and the death penalty. 
So we're going to mix our two concepts together to get one efficient search that should get us very relevant results. You can see on this slide how to mix them. We use the word and. This means the articles in our results have to have the word juveniles and the words death penalty. But what about those synonyms and related terms? What if the author said minors instead of juveniles? That article would not show up in our results. This is where we can get fancy and make use of both the and and the or operators to make the most efficient search. We're going to use and in between our concepts just like before, only this time within each concept we're going to use or to add our synonyms and related terms. This means the articles in our results will have to have at least one of the terms on the left and one of the terms on the right. And we are only getting results that have both concepts involved. So you might be wondering, okay, well how do I do that in a database search then? It's easy. Most databases default to their advanced search page. That page usually has multiple search boxes where you can organize your concepts into groups. Watch as I put our juveniles and death penalty search terms into the boxes. Now notice that there is a drop down by each search box where we can select and, or, not. For this situation, we're going to leave it at and. And now you're ready to click the big green search button. There are still other tools we could use to narrow down our search further. I have other videos on how to use EBSCOhost and ProQuest where I show you how to use those tools. See the description below this video for links to those videos. Okay, so we've talked about AND and OR. However, we have not yet talked about the operator NOT. This is only used in specific scenarios. Here is an example. Let's say I changed my topic and I decided I wanted to find out more about penalties or punishments in the criminal justice system, but I didn't want to read about the death penalty. So let's say I try an EBSCOhost search for penalty or punishment or sentence. Notice how my results have a lot of articles about the death penalty? If we want to fix that, we need to use the operator NOT. Here is a visualization of what our results using NOT would look like. We're going to get articles in our results that mention penalty or punishment or sentence, or two of those, or all three. But then, if any of those articles have the word death, they won't show up in our results. As you might imagine, this is a pretty powerful tool, so you should use it sparingly. Using this could be very useful to find some of your articles, but if you only use this one search, you could be missing out on some article that only mentions the death penalty briefly, but still has very relevant information for your topic. This is why I always recommend trying different searches with different words, and using different search strategies to help you find all the articles out there that are relevant to your topic. So I just want to quickly show you what that NOT search would look like. There are a couple of other tricks I want to show you. The first is the quotation mark trick. Let's say you are looking for articles about a person. For example, Steve Jobs. If I type Steve Jobs by itself into the search, the relevance algorithm will still give you a lot of articles about him first, which is good, but a lot of your results will also include articles about someone named Steve and something else about Jobs. We can filter those out easily by putting quotation marks around his name. This will ensure that all of our results have those two words in that order right next to each other. The second trick is the asterisk trick. The asterisk works like a wild card. Let's say you are researching a topic about nurses. You will probably want articles that talk about a nurse, nurses, or nursing. To get all those different words, we can type in N-U-R-S asterisk. 
The asterisk tells the database you can get all words starting with N-U-R-S. Those tricks can be used in conjunction with the AND OR NOT operators. For example, I could search Steve Jobs NOT Apple. And guess what? These tricks work in Google, too. I could do the same search there. The only difference is they use a plus sign for AND and a minus sign for NOT. So the same search in Google would look like this. Alright, that concludes my video on search terms and tricks. I hope you will find these useful as you do your research.